Kepri. The god of the rising sun and of becoming. Kepri was a solar deity, and thus connected to the rising sun, and the mythical creation of the world. Kepri, was depicted as a scarab beetle. The Egyptians, saw the scarab beetle, as a miracle maker. By rolling a ball of dung, the basest of all materials, stuff that was essentially exhausted, or dead, they were able to create new life, in what appeared to be, a form of spontaneous regeneration. The dung ball rolled by the beetle thus became identified with the primordial sunrise at the inception of the cosmos, and, with every sunrise thereafter. Kepri, expressed a fundamental element of the Egyptian worldview, that is, that something could not come from nothing. And that creation was always some manner of transformation. The ancient Egyptians noticed, that after forty days, the insects young emerge as small, winged beetles. And so, forty became the number they associated with transformation or becoming. Scarab beetles were one of the most common objects made by the ancient Egyptians. These scarabs, from the Middle Kingdom, were likely used as jewelry, specifically amulets. The scarab of beetle is symbolic of Kepri, the Egyptian sun deity who represents creation and rebirth. Amuletic scarabs varied in length from half an inch, to two inches. They came into vogue, around the 11th, or 12th dynasty. Such scarabs were available to rich and poor alike, because they came to be mass-produced. Scarabs, like most amulets, were made from semi-precious stones, hard stones, glass, glazed pottery and limestone. Fionce scarabs were in great demand during the New Kingdom, and were incorporated into bracelets, pendants, rings and necklaces. <laughs> Winged scarabs, were meant to guarantee, a safe passage into the underworld. These funerary scarabs, have outstretched wings, usually made separately, then attached to the body. The scarab and its wings, were sewn to the mummy wrappings, or to the bead net mummy cover, by means of a hole at the top and bottom of the scarab's body, and by three holes on each wing. One at the tip, and two at the junction of the wing and body. Heart scarabs, were very popular amulets. For the ancient Egyptians, the heart was not only the center of life, it was also the center of thinking, memory, and moral values. In the final judgment, the heart was thought to be weighed against the feather of Matt. The principle of order, and justice. Heart scarabs were carved with an inscription from the Book of the Dead. The spell instructed the heart not to give away its owner's secrets and misdemeanors, so that they could pass successfully into the afterlife. Oh my heart which I had from my mother! O oh my heart which has been with me all my life. Do not oppose me in the tribunal. Do not be hostile to me before the keeper of the scales. Do not tell lies concerning what I have done. Do not give evidence against me before the great God, Lord of the West. For you are my Ka, which was in my body, the protector, who made me whole. Tooting common scarab. The blue lapis lazuli beetle sits atop the mountain of the underworld and carries the sun disk supported by two cobras wearing the white crown of Upper Egypt. The cobras offer protection, while the lotus and suns on the bottom edge represent immortality. The deep blue lapis lazuli is representative of the sky and stars, the turquoise is for long life, and the carnelian for protection. The shen, is for immortality and protection, the crook represents power. The square is the earth, and the three bars are for the cycle of birth, death and rebirth. Re Kepri in the form of the blue lotus flower. The Egyptians were captivated by the sun like Nymphaea cerulea, or blue lotus flower. They depicted themselves drunk on its scent, holding the flower to their noses and sniffing it, or drinking from lotus-shaped chalices. The blue lotus symbolism pertains to a triad that represents the sun's journey. Kepri is born in the east as the sun rises, he becomes ray at noon, and finally autumn in the west when he returns to the underworld to be reborn as Kepri in the morning. In nature, the flower buds rise to the surface of the water over a period of two to three days, and when ready, open during the mid-morning, and close at dusk. Thus, 
opening and closing with the rising and the setting of the sun. In summary, Kepri, whose name means he who comes into existence, Kama was worshipped at Heliopolis. Alongside Ra and Autumn, he forms the triad of Heliopolis. The Egyptians believed that the god was created by himself. So, he had no father or mother. He is represented in the form of a beetle, or a ram whose head is capped with a beetle, or whose face is replaced by a beetle. We also have examples of beetles with a human head, a ram's head or a falcon's head. His flower is the blue lotus. If you have enjoyed this video, or found it useful, please remember to click the like button. Clicking the like button helps more people get to see this film. And, if you want to find out more about the ancient world, and never miss an issue, then, please press the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you next time, for another exciting trip into the past.